Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Fabio Sonari. Good morning, good morning. Back with the Holy Gustavo Empire LP on Brigandine Legend of Nursia. Hopefully everybody's doing well this morning, having a good day so far. We are at the Battle of Portside, attacking from the north. This is going to be a pretty tough battle. We've, we are going against some heavy hitting leaders. However, I have changed my um, uh, cross-classing strategy back to just the normal classing strategy. I haven't really needed to focus on like cross-classing Ivan for example he seems to be doing much better as like growing as a knight or whatever but we can get into all the uh, details as we go this may be a little bit too ambitious on my part but we'll see what happens so our formation is already set I went ahead and marched and we are good to go right now so let's get into it okay so uh right now we're just gonna pretty much stand by as it is uh I would like to hopefully bolster the right side a little bit more if I can but we should be okay for now um you can get around to get the demon though, so I might actually change formation slightly. Uh, let's see. Even if I move uh, Hazarov over here, man, they like to talk over me, don't they? Turn, turn yourself down, boy. Uh, <laughs> so even if I go over here, um, she'll be protected. But uh, let's see. What's the rune area look like? The command range. It's not rune area. I'll never get that right, man. I'll never, ever, ever get that right. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna go support over this way at least for now my phoenix as you can see is in the front line on this battle we are lacking frontliners in this battle heavily so hopefully we can come out on top of this if not it's okay i really just wanted to uh kind of uh shadow box them so they couldn't come and attack me instead but even if they decided to do so their combat power is higher so but we might be able to weaken them up a bit take away some of these serpents which are stupid uh stupid strong <laughs> with their breath attacks and stuff they have high movement uh, High Lizard Men as well. They got a tier 2 back here as well. Uh, along with the Rock Olam and stuff like that. So they got some stuff. But anyways. Uh, let's see. No breath. Do I want to do a loop heal already? No, I think I'll wait. Yeah, just wait, just wait. We've already got our um, nuking spells in position. You're going to mostly be attacking from uh, 3 spaces away. So let's see. Yeah, stand firm right here. Okay. So, we can either wait for them to come into us, or we can blow up the High Lizard Men right now. You are not in range of heals. However, I think you are in range of loop heal, right? Loop heal is four spaces, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but not generic heals. I wish you had hidden away. That's kind of what I was trying to go for with a thief, but we just didn't get a lot of opportunity. Um, how far are you down? Just by 100 almost. Not bad. Um... I think I'm going to be moving the Phoenix to the the right. Let me see. Will you be able to get in and hit the Angel? Yeah, you you probably will be. Okay. Yeah, no, just stand for him. All right. Let's, um... Let's maybe apply a Poison if we can. Because we, we only have options for two Curses. So we can afford to do some Venoms at the start. So, yeah, let's go. Because we got some power, there's a poison, yeah. So because we got some powerful leaders coming in at us, so we had to be prepared for that if they decide to to uh, go in front, which I think they will, because Adieu's here, uh, Guinea's here, <laughs> they're gonna be coming in front for sure. So pretty scary. I and mean, I don't have any green creatures that he can uh, whack away, but his orbs are just so uh, prevalent that he can just smack anything he wants to. Um. I think we're going to go ahead and pop Iron Aura now. Stand firm. Actually, no, what I could do Come is move one space this way. and Or actually this way. That way they can't get to the demon. Um, that might be better. However, they might not focus me if I'm back this way. Um... I'm still in range of good support, so it doesn't really matter too much. But just to, just to simply protect the demon... I'm getting hit. Uh, this might be better. Yeah, let's go for this. And just go here. I'll move him back if the formation is, you know, not too bad. I can get the ghoul in the, to protect her. Let's see. Uh, no heals. We're good to go. The phoenix is out of range. So I am going to have to move you over here. Didn't catch that. Uh, let's see. And by there. Very good. Let's go over this way. We're going to shimmy it to the right a little bit, actually. Now that I'm looking at everything as a whole, it seems to be the most uh, most legit, whatever that means. 
Uh, let's see. You're three spaces away. Go for flame. Bam. Just small stuff right now, because they're, they're not here. The leader comes in here, I'm going to have to have the firepower to blow him up. So. I want to be able to curse, uh, not curse you, venom you back there. Um. I think I'm going to save this one's MP, actually. Yeah, stand by. Uh, stand by here. That's fine. What's the uh, damage like here? 82 to 100? My god. Um. Yeah. Stand firm. Okay. This will be a tough one. This will definitely be tough. That's a lot of poison damage too, man. It's still 10%, right? Of their max HP? <clears throat> Matthias is here. First time going up against this guy. Hmm. If you leave that right side open, I might have a chance here. Doubtful, though. I think we're uh, all going in a row. Nice crit there. Respect on you. <laughs> for some reason, the sea serpents tend to get more crits for whatever reason. I know they don't have a big enough chance. There you go. Wow, what a crit. I'm going to say goodbye to our bird over here. <laughs> That's fine. We've got a curse. We've got a divine ray. We've got plenty of stuff to blow him up. Hopefully it works out. Okay, getting to Matthias is probably not going to happen. All right, let's think about this. So, it's Adieu. And he's level 20. He's going to be Viking next, uh, next round. Let's see. Can I just swing? No, of course not. Um, max Rage. 9%. Look at that. Glorious, glorious percentage. You have Halo? Why don't the angels have Halo? Wouldn't it make sense? <laughs> Holy Word would be really nice, but I'm burning a lot of MP that way. I need to focus heal focus healers. Focus uh, leaders. That's not too bad, actually. That's a, a really powerful... Uh, attack there. His HP is not crazy. So. That'll do about that. Curse might do a little bit more. Um, flame attack will do additional damage because he's got a green orb. So. Hmm. There's a breath attack there. I don't know if I'm going to hit with Hazaroth. <laughs> it might not happen. I can do a clutch flame with the Phoenix if I have to. This is 54%. To his 100%. Man. Man, I'm really fighting with the, uh, the leaders with low accuracy, aren't I? Okay. Flash. Boom. I'm just curious. Your health is garbage. Um, I can't get around, though, to hit him with anything. They were smart in blocking him off. Otherwise, I probably could get him. That's unfortunate. Um, who's next? Yeah, we're going in a row. So we have some luxuries here. We can heal up this bird. No problem. Um, yeah, let's commit to some damage here. Okay. I wish I had a protect spell. Because if I miss with Hazarob, it's going to hurt getting hit back by a dew. But this is going to start things. It would be nice to have gravity as well on his troop. I really need to like sit down and th like before I do my next playthrough or when I do my next my next playthrough, I need to sit down and think about heavily think about like what's going to complement the leader a lot, especially if they have low accuracy. Uh, you can you know get rid of the um, get rid of the bad stat or the bad accuracy by cross classing and stuff. But that that takes forever, so you know halos would work of course, and um. Bunch of other things like gravity and stuff like that against the enemies. All right, let's go. Very nice. A faint? No way! You're gone, boy. You are gone. You are gone. Wow, a faint. Hazarov coming in clutch, bro. Your percentage still scares me, but uh, this is gonna work. Okay. The thing about it is, um, what do I hit him with first? Because everything is gonna bring him out of faint. I don't have a physical hit that I can hit him with except for the bird. His tro troop C is last. Troop A is going to get the kill because we have a uh, we have a demon. Um, 
I think True Bay is going to get the kill. Pretty sure. Um, one, two, three. Are you in range of heals? You are not in range of heals. If he stays here, I could kill him. Because I have a flame here, venom here. I can scoot Ivan's troop around here to get some melee hits in the next round, provided they don't he doesn't get blocked back here. But yeah, he's not in range of any heals, it looks like. Loop heal right here, but pretty much it. Interesting. Okay, anyways. Um I'm gonna definitely get you around this way. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're going back over this way. <laughs> because the angel's in danger. Uh, 86%. Or 86 damage. Uh, sure. I think the uh, drain uh, factors into the total HP damage that is done back to you. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, even if you're max HP. Get a heal on the bird. Luckily they, luckily, they were focusing one at a time. But uh, we got some area damage coming in here for real. And it's going to hurt. We do have an area heal with um, with Finral, I believe, because he is a bishop before. See. Do I surround and pound? Um, let's see. Is everything in range still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you in danger? I don't think so. And you have Iron Aura. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Freaking shield block, man. At really powerful hits. I mean, that's the optimal time, right? Alright, one more heal for you. Protect the Angel. <clears throat> Keeping the front line healthy here. Let's see. So if I flame attack now... On Matthias. Yeah, we can definitely get him next round. Because I can do two flames, right? Yeah. Hit him. Absolutely. Alright, so we gotta be careful here. I do have a Venom here on Troop C, so it's not a big deal. But, you know what would be hilarious is if I could like get him weak enough and then kill him and Adieu in the same turn with a Holy Word from <laughs> uh. Finral. That would be insanely cool if I could pull that off. But I don't know if it's in the cards. We'll we'll see what we got. So Alright, uh let's see. That is nearly dead. Tank goes away, which is fine. I don't think it's possible. Uh let's see. I'll definitely get the kill with Finral on a single target attack, but the Venom is definitely going towards Matthias, for sure. With any luck, I'll be able to uh, capture this. That would be amazing. Wish I had a charm spell. Um, yeah, go. Yeah, it's not quite enough. Even though you'll be weak to Holy Word, I'll, I'm going to check it just because I'm curious, but I'm not going to commit to a Holy Word. So, um... Let's see, what even kill? Um, really? Cursor, what the heck? I have to sh cycle through these targets? Okay, whatever. Uh, 67 damage, yeah. Will it even kill a dew? It won't even kill a dew. Okay, alright. So I have to do that. Um, you know what would be stupid hilarious? <laughs> What's the power on this thing? 60? Hold up. Why can't I move the cursor while I'm in this? I thought you could. 46. Yeah, it won't be enough. <laughs> that and then a holy word for the win. Yeah. It would kill a dude for sure. Alright, I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. Alright. Um, stand by. And then you will get the kill right here. Bye. No. Very nice. And I thought this wasn't going to work out. <laughs> I mean, he is a barbarian, or a berserker, or whatever, so by all means hit the front line, but he did fail to escape! Oh man, I hope we can get this win. I really hope we can get this win. Alright, heal the bird. We can get this, we can get this. He's not in range of heals. If he stays where he is and does a Geno Flame, he's dead. <clears throat> Bring it. 
Guinea's gonna come in here and smack somebody and maybe one-shot the ghoul. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen there. We'll see. It'll be close. Are you gonna do it? No way, really. <laughs> oh my god, the power on that dude. The power on that dude. Woo! That is pretty insane. God damn, what's with the crits? And why can we heal from hitting a goal? <laughs> Still a thing. Oh man. Here comes the Geno. Rock's dead. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. Mm hmm. Got to be careful. We're all right. We're all right. Okay. This matchup right here is really, really cool because the uh, accuracy is just not there. However, it is much better because um, I uh, is because Guinea has terrible agility. But uh, yeah, that matchup is not going to work out for me <laughs> at all. All right, so he has a bunch of reds. I don't have any water except for uh, this dude right here. So, and you're in line with a breath attack, so you're going to die for sure. Um, I just don't know if, uh, Guinea's gonna retreat. He may think he can carry this battle and kill a few things. That may be a thing for him. We'll see. Okay. So, um, Divine Ray, again? Hang on. I still got plenty of heals left in the back. You will not have a heal if I kill Matthias. So we can do Divine Ray, Curse, Venom, Flame, more Flame. We should be able to get it. I just can't afford to uh, let him counterattack Hazarov. It's a shame. I would definitely like to hit him, but it's not going to happen. Uh, okay, commit. Let's go. We'll nuke him. We'll nuke him. Can't believe I caught that lizard man. Good stuff. I wonder if he has any gear. Let me check. No gear. It's alright. Uh, let's see. However, you can attack this thing. Man, he is... He is so vocal. My goodness, dude. Calm down. Stop drinking. Nice faint, right? Yeah. Crit faint. Good job. Good job. Let's see. Um, you are in trouble. <laughs> You're only level 11, so it's not a terrible loss. But, uh, I'll try to keep you healthy if I can. Um, but you're just gonna stand by for now, because my angel's not getting hit. So. Alright, do we get the kill with Ivan? I'm pretty sure we do, yeah. I would like to get to Paladin status very soon. Uh, let's see. That means the unicorn goes, this goes, and then Guinea's around with his troop still, which is still very strong. He's got the best troop on the field for sure. But we should be able to kill him. The flame is definitely coming his way. More flame, a curse, a venom. Hopefully it's enough. Hopefully it's enough. We'll see. We'll see. Come on. Regardless, he won't be able to heal, so even if we don't kill him this round, we'll kill him next round. Um Yeah, let's tank this front line here. And then go for the kill here. Boom. Goodbye. Yes. Wizard gone. <laughs> I want to see 20 very soon. We captured the unicorn as well. What level are you? Three. Okay. We'll always use unicorns, you know. Um, he's pretty close to 19 as well. Goodness, man. That was great. That was great. Okay. Let's hit him up with a curse. This battle went so much better than I anticipated, yo. That is really good. We may even be able to get another big kill with Finral. This dude I never anticipated to use. In fact, he has like really good agility so he can do well with a thief, but his strength is bad. You can build it, give him potions and stuff, but it's just weird. He kind of starts like a like a guinea. Not, not a guinea, but um, Gilliam type, right? Where his main stat is not the best <laughs> that it should be. So, because he starts as a bishop. Uh, yeah. Heal a demon for sure. 
Can't lose that. Uh, heal the ghoul, I guess. We should have him. We should have him. What's he at? 204. Yeah, we should get him. Then I'm here. And we do 122 with uh, Finral's questionable intelligence. <laughs> I don't know. Is it possible? Yeah, we got him. Okay. More than enough. 151. Done. Sacred mail. Bam. Give me gear. <laughs> Give me gear. <laughs> You're stunting in this playthrough, dude. Yes. Victory. And I thought this was going to be close to a loss, too. <laughs> Good stuff, Finral. My dude. My dude, my dude. All right. I cannot wait to get him to Paladin, man. It's going to be super, 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 super sick. <laughs> uh, Let's see. There is a freaking Arc Demon. Yeah, man. Give me the Arc Demon. Let's go. I want to see some levels here. Any more tier twos? Nope. We got a High Lizard Man and another Unicorn. Fantastic. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was perfect for territory uh, takeover as well because uh, now we have connecting uh, castles, I believe, now. So we can continue down into Marvel with this team if we uh, so desire, which we should because we killed every single leader in that battle. So we'll probably have to fight like, I don't know, Stella, maybe Tommy or uh, is Gaspar is still with him, right? Something like that. But we killed three really powerful leaders in that battle. That was amazing. Only lost a bird. Yeah, so we can uh, go from left to right, from Saladial, and then go down. We have a scene. Restored page, the five brigandine. Here we go. I haven't seen a scene in a while. In the time before kingdoms, five young travelers arrived at the foot of the Rune Mountains. Five young travelers. They were in search of the legendary glowing mana stones, said to rest in the Spring of Mana, a fountain that overflowed with mana power. Rumor had it that wielding a mana stone would grant the wearer magnificent powers, wealth, and fame that was beyond imagining. However, not far from this mountain was the home of a magical beast so tall that it pierced the sky, known as Endorian. Oh boy. And so, happened, and so it happened that many of the young travelers who left in search of a mana stone never returned. But as luck would have it, each of these five travelers found a mana stone of their own right before Endorian attacked. Wow. The travelers raised the glowing stones above their heads, and all at once... And Dorian's fiery breath was repelled before being completely extinguished. As the young travelers returned home, each carried back one of the five mana stones and embedded the stones into a treasured piece of armor or accessory. I love this graphic right here. So these are the five original heroes then. Eventually, each of these special pieces of armor came to be known as Brigandines, before being given their own unique names, Justice, Sanctity, Freedom, Glory, and Ego. People came to believe that as long as the five brigandines were around, their sacred land of Renercia would prosper forever. It would be so cool to, like, play as those original heroes. It would be so cool to do that. Holy Thunder Rapier. Thank you for a sword, finally. <laughs> my first sword. <laughs> oh, man. It's my first sword. Alrighty. Perfect. Level 10. There we go. Alright, so we can get her over to, uh, I think, um, Healer, right? Yeah, Healer. Perfect Giant is going well. Alright, we'll skip that. Good stuff. Okay. So let's talk about organization phase really quick before I, you know, uh, get myself together and do all this stuff. So, we're of course going to be going in several different directions from the center. So, Salado is going to go to Vestilis, and then of course, Zai is going to go down to Regrunt. I just saw somebody that I really want. What are you doing over here in Morelva? Senorita? I love this leader right here. She's one of my favorites because I recruited her in one of my uh, easy mode playthroughs that I was doing to make guide videos. And she's awesome. She is awesome. I wonder if she takes any certain conditions. I haven't found any yet. But uh, if you all know, you can definitely let me know in the comments below, please. Okay, so yeah. There's those two di directions here. 
we're definitely going to go from port side down to Balutza. Hopefully we can uh, get more combat power before going there because they're going to be, of course, reinforcing that. But with what, I wonder, because they have to worry about this over here as well. Morelva is going to be severely hurting, so if we can keep, you know, punching through there, then uh, we'll be able to take the country out very easily. Just with this, you know, secondary team, really. This team's really good, um, and it's getting even better because of our levels that we had uh, last battle. We made some really good progress last battle. Um, let's see. I'll definitely be classing this thing up. Let's go ahead and do it now. And then uh, in the in the west, um, I know we had a victory with Al Sin's team. So let me go ahead and see what I want to do for that team really quick before I start doing a whole bunch of organization because it's going to take me a while. So just do this temporarily here for right now. We will be sure to get that High Lizard Man in the ranks for sure. All right, so let's go to the left. And we came from right here. So what I'm hoping we can try and do is take this team right here and attack down this way because their combat power went way down and ours is staying relatively uh, the same from what it was earlier. I think they took down a few monsters, but regardless, we killed a lot of powerful stuff, namely the tier two dragon and uh, I think a couple of other tier two monsters as well. Didn't get any leader kills, but we can probably get a, an easy offense on this one from the north. So what I'm going to do is stick to um, attacking Guy Mool with Al Sin's team throughout here because our combat power we can keep high. The only issue that I'm seeing is Meraniel going to Cornwurn and getting a free castle. So we're going to have to take some of our questing knights and reinforce that place, which is easily done. Um, not a big deal there. But I will take care of that in due course. Okay, so let me get the organization uh, squared away and I will see you here before we commit to the attack phase. Okay, we're reinforcing this castle here. I want to see if the combat power works out up this way. Hopefully they don't get a higher combat power than this. If so, then they will take this for free probably. But I will, of course, take this for free if they do that. But I just had to play like ring around the rosy with them a little bit, I suppose. So let's commit. All right, here we go. All right, we're reinforced here. What they got? 16,000. How? Wow, you really had that much mana to do all this? You had like close to n not even near what, but blah. <laughs> okay, well, I guess they're going to be taking this for free. That's fine. We'll just, you know, we'll play their game for a while. Focus, attack, all three. There we go. Okay, so besides that, so we're going to be attacking, of course, Gargar right here, which is their capital, which will definitely increase our mana income. These three are going here. And then, of course, we have all of our attacks in the east, which is a ton. So they're not going to be able to attack Cornworm. They wouldn't dare come in here. Um, and in fact, I think they had to just move knights to defend it. So uh, Alternia, you might get attacked from Setastoria. I'm not exactly sure. What do they have here? I don't know. Wait, who is this guy? I don't have this dude yet. Durius. He's a bishop. Have you guys used this Use this guy? Is he any good? I don't know. The stats... I mean, he's only he's only level 10. He's a bishop, so yeah. This is thing thing, I guess. So, Alright, well, we'll see what happens when we go when they go from here to here. If they do so. Um, I can't even see the combat power over there. We're going down this way. Regrunt. That should be an easy one. Let me check their uh, roster here. Oh my god, that's going to be super simple. In the OG game, they would probably just straight up retreat. They'll probably be stubborn though. And we're going this way for sure. Vesalus has who? Stella's here. Gaspar and Yuri. I hope Yuri joins our side after we take out Morella because I really, really like her. All right. Two wounded there, which is great. And we're going to go this way as well. Balutza has Umimaru. What's up, buddy? It's been a while since we tangled. Uh, let's see. We have pretty much the same combat power. They could try to attack us, potentially. We'll see. But at least they can't attack us from that end. So we'll see if we get that one off. I think we will be able to because they probably have knights in transit uh, to Balutza. Because I think we saw that it was zero before I did all my organization. Okay. I think that's all we're going to do. We're not going to do an attack from here, I don't think. Uh, but 
hopefully they stand their ground and either come towards me or uh, let me get the attack off. They're not going to let me get the attack off. They're going to attack something. Um, probably just this castle here, but we'll see what happens. Let's check the domain. Look at that, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I know we're having trouble in the West. We can take care of it later, but we are we are steamrolling in the East. So, Mana Silesia is almost gone. We're going to be taking them out next episode, I would say. They have one castle left after this, um, assuming they don't take any Morava's castles. And then Morava, we're just going to blitz through there with one team and then uh, take them out as well. That shouldn't be too hard. So, okay. I'm good with it. Let's commit. Here we go. So we'll have one more battle today. And it is the Battle of Vesalis, of course. So, the Steamroll team. Has Tim and uh, Stella shared any dialogue yet? Let's find out. I don't recall them sharing any dialogue before, but... Because uh, I think he's only been, like, um, going against Shinobi Tribe and... Uh, he may have tangled with Eliza once. I'm not even sure. So, yeah, I think we have dialogue here. Let's see. Yeah, for sure. You know about my time in Marvel, eh? Okay. <笑>見れる場の客店。ステ。そなたたちには海があるであろう。大陸を望むなら国も命も失うことになる。皇帝さんよ。あんた見れる場に来て何見てたんだ。海賊が命の心配して海に出てたか。そんでもって船が帰ってきた日には祝いの宴と he talks like she's drunk all the time. These words make no sense. <laughs> He's a very proud pirate. Okay, let's get to the action. I will see you here in a bit. Stay tuned. Here we go. Tier 2 right in front and a miss. A good start. <laughs> nice level there. Did not know you were close to 27. That's fine. We're going to blow up these tier twos, yo. Big time. Big time. And our formation is not compromised. This is beautiful. Okay. So, Seth, get in position, bro. You are doing well. You will become a sword master yet. Um, I'm slightly conflicted of what I want to do with Seth. Either put him uh next to the man eater or right here and then give this spot to the lizard because I want him to fight a lot. Then again, he's a leader, so we gotta be careful. Um, yeah, this is fine. But we do want to use the, the uh, skill right now, so swift stance. Boom. I can't wait to play Shinobi Tribe, actually, because I really, really, really want to build, like, uh, a triple swordsman team. That would be so much fun, man. So much fun. It kind of, like, reminds me of doing, um, even though they don't have, like, a shuriken or whatever, you know what I mean, like, the triple... Uh, Ninja teams that we all used to put together. I know you've done it, so um, those were super fun to do. Let's see. Uh, back this way. And we're Gucci. Perfect. Alright, Yuri. Come on, girl. Oh, I hate that. Why are you on their team? You need to be with me. She's, a she's actually the knight that I used uh, as an example to... Uh, make my um, recruit anemone guide. She was just close to uh, 300, and I just gave her some mana potions and got her up there. Bird's gonna get it. That's fine. Not really worried about that. On the golem, really? I thought that would for sure go to your leader. 
Yeah, they're not interested in attacking um Seth for sure. Imp is getting a little close there. Got some silence coming, maybe. Might be targeting my uh Yeah, my new Lilith that I just recently got. So let's see. Um I'm already thinking about Meteor Doom. I'm not gonna commit to it just yet. Um, because it is a lot and it's only one more curse after that. Yes, it will hit a lot of things, but um even though they can't recover from it, is it the best option? Because they legit have, like, no heals. They have a loop heal. That's all they have. So it would be worth it because they cannot recover from it. Um, you've got Curse now, along with Necro Rebirth, which is insane. Uh, let's see. I want to be able to blow up these Tier 2s. But we can do that easily enough with uh, Sin's team. Frost back here. And probably just use the Phoenix for Flame Attacks. I don't see us needing to really use a Heal Voice too much. Um, let's see. Galavard won't, won't, um, won't last very long. Let me see. Your movement is a lot, right? <laughs> How much is your movement? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's six. So one, two, three. At least four or five, and then maybe a six. Okay, you can get back. So let me start off small here. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the gremlin. Yeah, that makes the most sense. No silence for you, please. <clears throat> and or protect spells. Really, you can't get back this way? All right, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Maybe um, numb powder would do it. 80%, try it. Very nice. Okay. Let's see where this is going to hit. I'm not going to commit to it just yet. That's going to be beautiful. I'm highly thinking about it just because they can't recover from it. We got a ton of stuff that can blow them up even afterwards. And we still have a curse left. Maybe two Venoms if we need it. So, it's not too shabby. Uh, curse. Two thirty-one. God bless. That is a lot. It would be really nice if I can kill off one of the tier twos and then Necro rebirth them. That would be awesome. Yeah, we're gonna commit because they have no heals. Boom. Worth it. Very nice. Alright, so squad B. They don't have a lot, so we're mostly hitting those troops that are going to be staying here after Galavard is gone. So I did consider that. Um, so we can just go ahead and blow them up if we want to. So. Boom. And Divine Ray should do it on um, best team. Let's see. Yeah, because we're now going in a row. Let's see. Phoenix. I mean, you just you could just sit back and do a, a heal voice. Although, I would like to start getting rid of this thing. Uh, there's a flame there. There's a breath here. Uh, does Sin have magic? It doesn't have magic. No ranged attacks. It's just all uh, balls to the wall melee attacks, you know. Which is fine. I have no problem with that. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can do to try to get rid of this one. Um. Yeah, because we got heals in the back. Uh. Yeah, let's do a flame. Okay. I know it's weak because of intelligence. That's fine. Um. Got a frost there. Breath. I could move and away the Bahamut and then put Sin up in there and then kill it. That would make it work. Um. Who's Troop A again? Troop A is Stella? Hold up. Hold up. Is your rune area really that far? Wow. Is that five or six? Command range. Where is it? It's five. It looks like it's a six. My goodness. That's 
pretty crazy when you actually look at five <laughs> spaces. Uh, let's see. Um. Yeah, for sure. Very good. Do I move in away and let Sin take the front line? Um, I could and just kill the tier two pretty easily. He may be able to do it with just the uh, initial swing. If not, the uh, Siren can kill it, but we could reposition the breath this way because Troop C is gonna is gonna remain along with Troop A. Let's see. Sin shouldn't be in too much danger because of that either. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Can we do it with just the hero attack? We can't. This dude's a boss, man. He's such a boss. My god. My god. Oh, that's right. He has hit no. <laughs> I forgot. Um, Yeah, because I'll just put the rock bird in, the, in front there and heal him. Uh, yeah, let's go. I know Sin could probably most assuredly tank this space right here, but, uh, I just want to put, put it like this, you know, stay consistent. Wow. The dude is a master. He is a master. <clears throat> All right. Frost attack. Um, where to? Or do we do a flight? I don't Nah, do damage, do damage. Yuri's right here. He's resisting some of it because of green. It's fine. Um, yeah, get her down. She needs to start getting low because you can't recover. I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Troop B's going to go. What level are you, Centaur? Three? Yeah, yeah. Let's hit C. Here we go. Okay. It is Seth's turn. So, um, we want to get him out of the way and then reposition. So that way Seth can get some hits in on some of these melee units. Hopefully get close to killing the elemental. That would be lovely. We could do that. Alright, but first thing is first. We will divine this dude into oblivion. Boom. That might be an Archangel. We'll see. <clears throat> no way! He had a la Wait, no. You can give those to leaders? Wait a minute, dude. Come on. He had a freaking Lapis. I still get the experience for the kill, though. Really? You had a Lapis ex ex Exilus? I of course can't see it, but it would it would have been right here. You had a lapis exilus, if that's what it's called for the leaders. Is it called something different for the leaders? Because I only remember the lapis exilus going for the monsters. You can equip that shit to leaders in this game. Oh my god, dude, that is insane. That is insane. Can you imagine putting that on someone like Grotos? Jesus. Wow. Well, uh, that changes things. Um, oh my god. Uh, that's like the biggest surprise in this playthrough ever. Good job, Galavard. You have my respect. You have my respect. I'm not- I'm no hater on that one. Alright. Damn. <laughs> That is super funny, man. Okay. Is your pre-move free? No, it's 60. What am I saying? Um, 225. I'm going to have to do this one, aren't I? Let me see. Is Fang, la Fang Slash enough? Oh, it's barely not enough. I could maybe crit, but... um, Do I really care? Because you can't recover. Um... 60 MP. Yeah, j j just kill it. Just kill it. If, yeah, if he didn't block. 
Oh, man. There we go. I'm going to get Swordmaster, bro. I am so excited. I am so excited. Okay. A freaking Lapis, man. <laughs> wow. On a leader. That's definitely new. What's up, Stella? Ow. Ow. There goes the bird. Okay. Nice cover there. Surprised you didn't try to hit the demon. I mean, it is Tim, the leader, but still. That accuracy has to be such a low number. Oof. Okay. It's uh, some TLC for uh, Sin over here, man. Really? That has to be like a zero. Okay. Really, what's that percentage? I'm going to find out when I get, get my turn back here. All these misses, man. These golems ain't going to save you. You should be dead. God. Paralyze this dude. Oof. All these breath attacks, man. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. I definitely need a heal voice now. Got to get rid of that uh, iron golem. Okay. Um. Let's see. She has all dark orbs. I can't hit her with any light, which is fine. I've got a curse here, curse there. I've got a numb powder, which may not hit her. Uh, but she did sacrifice her agility, didn't she? A little bit. It won't be enough, though. Um, wow. What is this? 54%? Stone gaze. I don't use this enough. 65%. 80%. Um, let me see what the nun powder is against the angel. 79. Go. Yes. Yes. Get rid of the angel. Lightning blade acquired. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. I'm about that life. Hmm. What to do next? You have loop heal. Um, is it worth cursing up Stella? We could just get rid of all the monsters. They're so low. I wish I had another Meteor Doom. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, we gotta get rid of this guy. Tim can probably just Imperial it, Imperial it to death. Wow, that's hard to say. Um, 242 here, 282 there. Let me see what a curse looks like on the elemental. Let's see. Almost dead. On either one. It's a shame. <laughs> Kaiser Slash. Can Imperial actually kill? It can't kill you, but it can kill you. Hmm. Let's see here. You know what? I still have heals left. Sin needs some attention, for sure. Heal up you. That's pretty much it. These breath attacks, though, are very scary. They can do it one more time, two more times. It's not a lot of damage granted, but I mean, blah. It'd be nice to get rid of this thing and then do a heal voice. That would be preferable. Um. Hmm. You got one more breath attack left over here. Can always kill you with somebody else. It's not that big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's focus this thing down. I'm good with that. Okay. Uh, so what I would like to do is I would like to curse her. It's a lot of damage, but hmm. I'm thinking Venoms instead. Let me see. I'm trying to be careful with my MP. 
even though I have a ton of stuff that I can still use. Um, Venom will bring him down how much? 106. It's close. It's very close. I may be able to just uh, do Imperial and then attack with the demon, maybe. That would be the best option. Yeah, go. Surely we can do close to 25 or more than that. Dark pressure. Wait, is any of these charm? Inflicts charm. A 25% chance of charm. Can't do it on a golem, but I, I forgot that they had that. Did they get this at, um, at Arc Demon, I wonder? Yeah, he's gone. All right. All right, I'm good with that tactic. We can save it for save a curse. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now we can pop the heal voice. Fantastic. Therefore, uh, thereby saving some of our heals on the unicorns. So, um, perfect. Yep. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Get a hit on somebody. I don't know who that's going to be because you do a ton of damage. That's 140. Wow. Rapsido, my boy. Uh, and it's 65% chance to hit me. This is 29%. Um, much less damage. Yeah, this is weakness too. Let's get. Let's try to get rid of him again. I'm glad we get the experience for the kill, even though they have a lapis. Nice miss. I'm telling you, man. Rapsido, best doggo. If I ever get a dog in my life, I'm naming him Rapsido. I think I said that in a previous episode. He is for sure going to be in my life. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need to... I want to check the accuracy on these golems. What did they try for? They, look at this. I told you. Yeah, it's zero. Why did they try to hit me? I thought the AI was supposed to take some accuracy into account. Why did they try with zero? This makes no sense for them to do that. Is there a hidden decimal somewhere where they... Have a point percent chance to hit me? Even then, why would you commit to that in the first place? It's so weird. That makes me that that kind of confirms the fact that uh, imps commit to like zero percent chance on the silence. I think. So yeah. You know what? Um. I want to get rid of the elemental, but. I could do it if I reposition the Bahamut because I need to put something here. To protect the demon. Uh, I can move in away with you, which is perfectly fine. But if I hit you here and then hit you with the frost, I can kill you. And then Sin might be able to get that with the centaur. Get one of these breaths out of here. Preferably it would be this one I would want to get rid of, but that's tougher. So we have options here. Um, what's frost going to do? This. 137. Yeah, that'll be an easy kill. Um, yeah, let's do it like that. So let's frost this. Get rid of it with the Bahamut. Plug the space. That way they can't move and attack the demon. Namely Stella, because that would really hurt. <laughs> so she can face a Bahamut. There we go. And dead. Goodbye, more tier twos. Aqua Orb obtained. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, so if Tim gets his turn back pretty soon, we can hopefully Necro Rebirth a, um, a giant snake or whatever it was. Sea Serpent, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'll never get it right. Um, sea Serpent and or the Elemental. Probably the Sea Serpent. Uh, let's see. That brings you down 252. Yeah, go for it. Might as well. And you do it, my boy. Secret Light Blade. He can. God. Hold up. He can almost do it with the generic attack. This dude is insane. I can only imagine how powerful this dude is if he was not in puppet form. <laughs> All right, stand by. All right, let's go ahead and heal the man eater, or 
the Bahamut. Are we in range of magic attacks? Not really. It's all physical and low accuracy stuff. We're good. They may even retreat. They're they're in a bad situation here. So let's go here. <clears throat> Two really successful battles here today, man. Let's see. Um, I do want to try to hit him up with Seth if I can potentially kill him again. Um. Or I might be able to kill the golem and get some experience. No, I have a divine ray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's uh, set this up. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because we can take a spot right here. Um, I can only hit him from two angles. So, the lizard is probably going to be going here. If I want to do Necro Rebirth, I'll have to move the Maneater out of the way on Tim's team, which is fine. I can do that. Uh, which will actually be a really good position if Stella stays where she is. Um, and if Yuri stays where she is. So, let's move the lizard over this way. That's 100%. Perfect. Shield block. Or a miss. I'll take a miss. <laughs> Alright, and we got the kill with Seth for sure. Right? Yeah, boy. Get out of here. Dragon scale armor looted. Yeah, boy. That's where you're going to get your gear up from. Freaking quests are not doing anything for me in this uh, playthrough hardly at all. <laughs> I mean, I did get a couple of tier 3 items, but like, yeah. It's always been just like commons or fails. But anyways, I won't complain. We're making do. Let's see. Let's top off the lizard, maybe? You have one heal left. Hmm. You know what? I might save it. Mm, yeah, save it. Try to hit me. Okay. <laughs> She's saying okay. Oh my god. What is this? Yo. Okay, I can respect that animation. I should have topped off the lizard. I'm gonna lose him. She's totally gonna attack him. Come on, shield block. <laughs> No! Oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh man. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been debilitating? <laughs> All right, Yuri, you better hit him. Just don't disappoint me. I know he's gone. Oh my god. Did I just save my lizard? I thought she was going to be stubborn and kill it. Oh, 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 oh my god, my lizard lives with... Say it. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. <laughs> I knew it was going to be below 10, but Jesus Christ. One. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. I'm sorry for the outburst. Can you blame me, though? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm glad this is being recorded. <laughs> I'll never lose this. Oh, Jesus. What's your name, Lizard? What's your name? Streebog, Streebog. You are a super Streebog. <laughs> Strybog, I don't know what your name is. Oh, man, the dude made me cry. 
<laughs> I'm hysterical, dude. I can't stop laughing. Uh, <laughs> come on, Rhapsodo. It's, it's feeding time. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> That's funny as hell, dude. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Wipe the tears from your eyes. Concentrate. <laughs> Get this... Get this girl out of here. She's at full health, too. I'm just gonna go back and kill the demon. Um, kill all the monsters. <laughs> I can do that, yeah. Why not, right? Still love that animation, man. Stella's animation for her uh, pre-move was amazing, by the way. Or her ultimate move, whatever it was called. What is that called? Um... It is, yeah, Dragon's Destruction. This is legit. I like that a lot. Um, and it also reduces, uh, wait, it reduces my attack and defense and increases her attack and defense. That's insane. Tim just does a whole bunch of damage. Like, what's your power level on your, yeah, 210. So he's got more power with his, less MP cost, but it doesn't do anything special. It's just massive damage and triple dark. So, uh. It kind of balances it out, but yeah, okay. Anyway, um... <laughs> We're gonna get some comments on that one, man. For sure. For sure we're gonna get comments on that one. <laughs> Probably for a whole year. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, this is all I have left. Meet your maker, Stella. <laughs> Good effort. Okay, let's do a surround. Your defense is up, I think, for sure. Yeah, 82. God bless. That is so bad. Um, Man, it's so hard to take them out with physical attacks. I'll do massive damage with Sin, though. Yep. Uh, someone can get around that, right? Yeah, because we don't get uh, hindered from the captured monsters. So, yeah. Even so, um, we can't do the sacred, but that's fine. Man, but she does some major damage to me back. <laughs> that definitely hurts. Um, hang on, let me do a frost. <clears throat> let's um let's top you off actually feeling that actually wait doesn't it enclosure um reduce their accuracy it doesn't, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'm, just, I'm gonna be here anyways. So. Awesome. Ouch. That's right, he's got moving away as well. I don't really need that though. Might as well keep the enclosure. Because we got Rhapsodo moving away as well. Uh, Seth, the bird. Yeah, she's definitely dead, but yeah, just, just stay here. You're good. You're good. It's a clearance sale, yo. One. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Leaders are no joke. All right, let's heal our uh, MVP lizard man. <clears throat> That's one for the ages, for sure. All right, I don't think I can afford to hit with him unless he's got the last hit. Uh, Cause yeah, if, I, if she counters, he's definitely dead. So, let's go up here, get you with the bird. That is garbage. She may actually get to go again. Wow. She'll be able to retreat. 114. 
Seth, what can you do? Oh, he can almost get that. Um, I really, really, really want him to get the kill because he can get to 20 if he does that. So... She's going to do massive damage to the angel. But even the, if the angel hits, it's like one damage. She'll counter kill this thing, right? Yeah, for sure. Damn. I can't get the kill with Seth. Because this, this will probably most definitely counter kill me, right? No, but it's only one damage because of her defense. Oh, man. That sucks. I really wish I could have gotten the kill with him. I mean, he might crit, but... The experience that he'll get from just one hit won't get him to below 200. Alright. Huh? He did crit! He crit! Seth, my boy coming through! Oh yeah! Woo. Wow. Swordsman for the win! Swordmaster for the win! Yeah boy, I'm ready for it, man. I am so ready for a Swordmaster. Let's go! Oh man. <clears throat> this was episode 20, right? Favorite episode. For sure. For sure. Lots of levels. I want to watch all this. I'm just a happy camper right now. Got an Archangel out of it. Got a Golem. Booyah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Man, that freaking one health clutch. Hang on. That was insane. Lost only a rock bird. Man. What a clean sweep that was. Freaking Galavar with that Lapis Exilus, though, man. Did not realize that could happen. There's the free castle. That's fine. <clears throat> I'll just take this one for free. <laughs> Which means I can take Harmonia for free as well. And there's the next one. Perfect. Yeah, we'll get this. We'll get this. We can defend on both fronts on, uh, well, three fronts, actually, if we have to, against, uh, Gaimo. Actually, we only have to do, uh, two fronts, right? No, it has to be three fronts, so we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, we cannot put this in today. It's been such a long episode already, but wish me luck on this one for sure. This one will be a little bit tougher, but hopefully not too bad. Uh, we are going up against Kane. Kane's a boss. Um, and I think, uh, who else? Wait, is Kane here? Oh yeah, they're at the capital, right? Right, right. But Allison should come through for sure. Uh, Kate's here as well. Right, right, right. Who's the archer? Hang on, I'm curious. Who's the archer? It's, uh... What's her name? Yura. Right, 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 right. Uh, throwback to Brigandine OG. There was a Yura in Grand Edition. Anyways, guys. Guys and gals. <clears throat> that was an amazing episode. Thank you so much for joining me for that one. I had a ton of fun. A lot of clutch moves today uh, by the enemy and myself. Um, but uh, yeah, that was such a great episode, man. I had a ton of fun, as always. Any anyways, I haven't been putting up the poll for uh, the pinned comments on the previous episodes. I do apologize for that. If you have not voted... For the next LP that you want me to play, please, by all means, hit up the link in the, des in the not description, the comments below. I always pin the link to the poll in the comment section below. Or you can simply go to my main page, hit up the community tab, scroll down, and then you'll find the the uh, the, the poll down there with Kenobi Tribe I still think is in the lead. I haven't looked at the poll in a while, but I'll be sure to uh, remember to put the poll on the top of the comment section on every single episode. That way you can have easy access to it. Beyond that, if you want access to any more Brigandine resources, you know where to look. It is in the description with the Discord server and all that stuff. Everybody's populating that server every single day, even to this day, which is fantastic. Every time I look in there, I see new members. It's great. The community is really, really growing. But uh, beyond that, if you did enjoy the episode, please leave me a like. It really helps out the channel. And also subscribe if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this, including Let's Play series and guide videos, which are due to come out very shortly. I don't have anything new to cover currently, but uh, I am working on some tactics-based 
guide videos for you on my own time, which includes formation tactics and the like. So look forward to that. Anyways, I am your host, Vagus Sonari. I will see you all in the next LP episode and or guide video. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.